Have you been hurt by religious people? The people that Jesus was the hardest on were the religious leaders who were lying to and misleading the people. He would have some strong words to say to some of today's religious leaders who tell people the reason they are sick or poor is because they lack faith. Maybe you have been told that God didn't die for everyone but only for the elect. Those teachers are telling a lie straight from the pit of hell. Maybe you have been taken advantage of by religious people like that who have swindled you or spiritually abused you. I promise that was not from God and they do not represent Him. One day, God will call them to account for their words and actions. Conversely, Jesus was very kind and patient with sinners, offering them salvation and forgiveness. Of course, He wanted them to turn from their sins. Living God's way is the healthiest way to live. God hates sin and it separates us from Him until we believe that Jesus' sacrifice on the cross reconciles us to God. I know some will find this scandalous, but He did not require people to stop sinning for salvation. No one is capable of that. He requires belief. Now please do not misunderstand. Saved people do not have a license to sin. Remember, God hates sin and it breaks our fellowship with Him. Maybe you have encountered some hypocrites who say they are Christians and they have hurt or offended you. Christians are sinners just like non-Christians. And yes, we would hope they would live differently than others, but the sad truth is sometimes they don't. And I'm sorry for that. But please don't reject Jesus and end up in hell because of the hypocrites. He is not the one who hurt you. He died for you so you can be reconciled to God. No one can live the perfect Christian life unless they allow Jesus to live his life through them. Some Christians do, and others do not. Salvation costs us nothing, but it costs Jesus his life. He paid the price entirely. We can't help him save us by being a good person, or going to church, or donating to good causes. If our efforts were enough, he would not have needed to die on the cross. Saved people do good works and obey because they love God and want to serve him with a thankful heart. Salvation is as simple as believing Jesus is who he says he is and that he will give you eternal life. Jesus died on the cross, shedding his blood for your sins and rose on the third day. All have sinned. All. Don't wait until you clean up your act before you trust Him for salvation. His blood alone is able to cleanse you from all your sin. Come as you are and then let Him clean you up. Just get saved. Did you know that fewer than 37% of pastors in today's churches and on television actually have a biblical worldview? This means that finding a church that will teach you Bible truth is super hard. There is an abundance of false teachers everywhere. Untold damage has been done to innocent people by false teachers who spiritually abuse others. But there are some good ones out there, and you need a pastor who can teach you the words of God. Here are some Bible-believing te teachers on YouTube, and I will link their channels in the description box. But I recommend Robert Breaker, Gene Kim, J.D. Farag, and David Peacock and also Andy Woods. They are all excellent Bible teachers. Please don't let arrogance or pride keep you out of heaven. Pray to ask Jesus to help you believe in Him for salvation today. Once you place your faith in Jesus, you are eternally secure, sealed by the Holy Spirit. Salvation is a one-time event, a done deal. There are no take-backs with Jesus once you believe in Him for salvation. You are adopted as a child of the Most High God. You now have no fear of death or hell, for when you die you will go to heaven rather than spend an eternity in hell separated from God. I love you and I want you to be saved.